Thank you, TJ. Good afternoon. My name is Evan Alois, and I'm honored to be here today as student body president of the class of 2023. At this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Freeman to come to the podium. Dr. Freeman. <laughs> Sorry about that. On behalf of the class of 2023, we have bought a giant inflatable panther arch for the football team to run through at home football games. As a class, we felt that this was a great way to display our school spirit for years to come. Being asked to speak to your class at graduation is a lot of pressure. I'm not gonna lie, I thought about asking AI to write this speech for me. But then I thought, what would Mrs. Faulkner think? It's a question I've asked myself many times throughout the years, and it's kept me out of some trouble. Mrs. Faulkner was my first grade teacher, and thoughts of her got me going down memory lane. I thought about all the life lessons I learned back at Central Primary School. The same ones we all learned, whether you were at Central, WMS, D50, or St. Pat's. There are three life lessons in particular that stand out and stand the test of time that I would like to focus on today. Lesson one, circle time taught us how to widen our circles. The teacher would say, spread out, make room for everyone. This life lesson has helped us make friends at WCHS that we would have never known otherwise. If we would have all stayed in our grade school silos, we would have missed out on some re relationships that will no doubt last a lifetime. Take, for example, Lucas Price and Kennedy DeWitt, Maggie Grugan and Jack Kelly, or friendships like Cadence Anderson and Cami Carpentier, or me and Alex Fleming. <laughs> Widening our circles means making sure everyone is included. Just look at the amazing work our unified PE class is doing to bring people of all abilities together and the genuine friendships that have grown out of that. Incredible. Lesson number two, recess taught us the value of living life to the fullest. Together, we would slow-mo walk out to the playground in our light-up sketchers in hopes of dominating at Gaga Ball. <laughs> Running around with classmates on Babcook Field playing sharks and minnows, football and can jam, it felt like recess again, living life to the fullest. And finally, lesson number three, we learned the value of hard work. Grade school is where we pr first picked up a musical instrument. It's where we were encouraged to take our on leadership roles, first as a line leader and later as a member of student council. It's where we tried out for track and field or cheerleading or the school play. We started to learn where we shine and where we fit in and where we started to see our hard work pay off. And look where that has taken us. A.J. Wesley won best in show at the Central Illinois High School Art Exhibition a first for WCHS students. TJ Watson was a national merit finalist. Madison Cummings and Emma Lane won gold medals at the National Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. More than a dozen seniors made Allstate for choir, band, and athletics. We won conference in so many sports that it would make my speech run long to list them off. We had state finalists in competitive cheer, chess, speech, swimming, geometry, drafting, tennis, and cross country and dance, and our state champions, the WCHS wrestling team, specifically Justin Hofer and Cannon Webster. Cannon, by the way, won his third state title, so when he wins his Olympic gold, you can all say you saw him graduate high school. Tess Spadafor won state for her short, short film. Lauren Ammerman won state in news writing. Band and choir won the IHSA music sweepstakes and the Marching Panthers won the Grand Champion Governor's Trophy for the first time in school history. And this is just in the last year. Whether or not you were directly part of that long list of accomplishments, or the many I'm sure I failed to mention today, I hope you feel proud to know that you are a part of the WCHS class of 2023. We have all learned so much from each other during this long journey from childhood to adulthood. The accomplishments of one are the accomplishments of all. So, as we go forward into the future, 
let's continue to use what we've learned by taking these lessons out into the world. Widen your circle, live life to the fullest, and work hard. Let's do it for ourselves. Let's do it for Cal and Anna and Hannah, seniors from last year who never got the chance to walk across this stage. Let's do it for our parents, our siblings, our grandparents and aunts and uncles, for our teachers, directors, and coaches, and for all the Miss Faulkners out there who helped us get started on the right foot. Let's go do great things. Congratulations, classmates.